Toco Cloud's reached an extreme, extremely exciting stage, right? We've moved off of PowerPoint and out of, out of conversation to actual execution. You know, today, the, the, you know, for example, Microsoft's uh, Telco Cloud offering Azure Operator Distributed Services is servicing tens of millions of customers at our flagship customer AT&T. Uh, which provides us the opportunity to learn how to grow the service, scale it, uh, and meet the needs of, of sort of the real world production requirements of what telco grade cloud needs. Now, from a overall, I'd still put the overall industry in the early stages. I think there's a few key things. People are working through the, the sort of business case and, and um, TCO models around what it means to engage cloud technology, sort of the overall reduction of OPEX, uh, the, the efficiencies that can be gained from, from uh, cloud economics. On top of that, once you sort of got the you know the, the business case going, then there's the specific use cases, and there's both those like AT&T that have can you know continue to go all in on on um, the deployment of cloud-based technology for the core network. But there's a lot of people looking at things like uh, bursting and disaster recovery scenarios as a starting point uh, to get familiar with the technology. So we're we're seeing uh, sort of a mix of, of of interest and adoption, and that's been exciting because it forces us to go through um, the different scenarios in a real-world context, and it makes it much more meaningful and brings us closer and closer to, to wider spread adoption, which I think is, is interesting. So I think what you've seen in the last 18 months is a move and a shift from people who are thinking when, you know, if it's going to happen or when it's going to happen to folks that are actively planning for it. And that's obviously extremely interesting because uh, it gets into the guts of the, the real world engineering and business problems that, that, that it has to solve.